Secret Agent Nancy Miner, report in. Agent Miner, reporting in, sir. An Afghanistan Premier is on his way to the airport. You must protect him. I'm on my way, sir. Get out of the way! Give us 30 seconds, and we'll give you the world. The world is coming to New Detroit this week for the first International Peace Exposition. Celebrate humanity! And this is where world leaders will be staying, in New Detroit's One World Village. That's right, Fawn, and among them will be the head of the world's newest country. The Premier of Afghanistan flies to New Detroit tonight after meeting with the President at the White House. So many automobiles! You Americans are very lucky! Activating hover mode. Ready. No assassinations on my watch. lose my luggage. Huh. Botko. Botko. I better run it through the Division Alpha computer. set up Division Alpha to perform unobserved intelligence missions. Would you call what you did at the airport <laughs> unobserved? I'd call it saving the life of the Premier of Nebmenistan, sir. Oh, don't give yourself a medal yet, Agent Miner. This man carved out a homeland for his people in a region dominated by a half a dozen ancient enemies. If something should happen to him while he's in this country, it could trigger a world war. You think you'll be attacked again at the Celebrate Humanity Expo? Of course. Creating chaos for profit is what our friends at Dark do best. That's why I want you to leave immediately for New Detroit. Sir, I'll have to make some calls. I've already arranged for someone to look after your son. Thank you, sir. Alderman Enrico Sabella. Chief Lawrence Brayman. Deputy Mayor Lincoln Landau Goodrich. Dark, the Directorate for Anarchy, Revenge, and Chaos, always uses bribery and fear to create secret allies within the local government. You have been assigned a local partner you can trust. Someone completely beyond the reach of threats or corruption. No one can be trusted completely, sir. True. After all, we're only human. Mm, this is where Alpha Prime said to go. 13955 Cumston Avenue. Nice neighborhood. Hey! 
Uh, sorry, Agent Miner. <laughs> it's not safe out there at night. Who are you? Uh, Cornelius Newmeyer, at your service. You aren't my new partner, are you? Me? <laughs> oh, no, certainly not. Partner? That would be a joke on somebody. I'm like a father to this guy. Come on, let's go wake your new partner up. What are we doing in the junkyard? Way cool. They would have never let me down here by myself. What is that? One of those things they crush old cars with? There's an electro-cryogenic containment unit inside. Right. Wait a minute. You mean he's in there? This Deputy Mayor Goodrich giving orders to move in. Roger that, Mr. Goodrich. What do we do inside? Just following orders. See to it that Robocop does not leave this building. Just who is my new partner anyway? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Actually, I pioneered this particular technology. When? In junior high? supposed to get bodies in the morgue. He's alive! Die, home. Hello, Dr. Newmeyer. Who's the babe? This babe is a special agent with Division Alpha. My name is Murphy, and I'm not a robot. Yeah, right, not a robot. It looks like total interface failure. We gotta save them. You better jumpstart him again. You don't understand. He's part human. That's the part we could lose. Hands up! Both of you! Who are you? I'm a federal agent with orders to be here. I've got my orders, too. This piece of junk stays here. Thanks. I needed that. Stop! I'm authorized to use maximum force! Officer, it is a crime to interfere with federal authorities. My leg is unarmed. I've been working on rearming you. Drop the arm! I put your hands up! Activating glue gun. At least I haven't become unglued. Hello, dispatch. Officers need assistance. What's the problem? They're a little stuck up. That should do it. Give it a try. Hey! 
Why is the old arm moving? I guess I miss it. I was kind of attached to it. Division Alpha doesn't feel the new Detroit authorities can be trusted. That's why you were reactivated. This data disk should fill you in on our mission. If whoever's behind this can get to the Nebmanistan premiere, it could start a war. Arms merchants could make billions. I know it's around here somewhere. Most new Detroit cops are honest, Agent Miner. We serve the public. Ugh, he's gone out again, Newmeyer. As the public deserves. There it is. I added some nifty stuff to it while you were deactivated. My arm must still have a few bugs in it. If you ask me, everything around here's got a few bugs in it. The arm's got a stun blaster built into it. Try it. Minimum force, of course. I thought you said minimum force! Uh, a minor calibration problem. That's why I don't work with robots. I told you I am not a robot. Activating memory file 69.2. Look at me, Dad. Just like TJ Laser on TV. You do it, Dad. It's cool. Don't do it, honey. I don't think he should even watch that show. What are you looking at? I was just remembering something. It isn't easy for me. Look, I'm sorry what I said about robots. I had a partner one time. He was killed by a robot. I'm sorry. It's hard to lose your partner. I understand our mission now, Agent Miner. What is our next move? We need to get into One World Village and check out security, without anybody knowing about it. You never know how far corruption might reach. It's Goodrich. Uh, we may have a problem helping you get at the Premier. A uh, federal agent has reactivated Robocop. No, it's not like the regular police. I don't know if I can control him. Can your people handle it? Marta Kluge's people are not people. And if Robocop gets in their way, they will destroy him. The Premier of Navministan is as good as dead. Coming to you live from the site of the world's first International Peace Expo. Hello, Fawn. Welcome to Celebrate Humanity. <laughs> Hi. This cute little guy is a robot guide here at the expo. Listen up, people. There's a lot of big shots at this Peace Wing Ding, and most of them are foreigners. So all new Detroit police officers working security here have to memorize a few international do's and don'ts. Take it from Sergeant Joe Reed, these folks will notice. Toss me that manual. God! Oh! Thanks a lot. The elevator shaft should be behind that wall. Hmm, how do we get through? 
Activating heat gun. After you, Agent Miner. You are handy. Dr. Newmeyer was busy while I was away. Murphy! You remembered my name. The elevator's coming back down! If we could get on top of the elevator, we could ride up to security headquarters. Activating grappling hook. Shall we dance? Rule number 857. Never scratch your left ear in front of a man from Naftministan. He will take it as an insult against his sister. I will check the wiring diagram. My review of city records indicates that this should be a junction point for the building security network. Can you interface with the... Activating data probe. On behalf of the mayor, I would like to welcome the world to New Detroit and declare the Celebrate Humanity Expo officially open. Minor. Can I help you, sir? I can give information in 100 different languages. Only 100? <laughs> what third grader programmed you? Have you found anything out yet? Have we found out anything? You said a company called Botco made that robot assassin at the airport? Yeah, Division Alpha is still checking them out. Another company owned by Botco made the robot guides at the expo. Can you interface directly with one of the robot guides? How could you ever doubt? I don't know. How could I? Thank you for your kind words, Deputy Mayor Goodrich. My country has an old saying, the echo of kind words is like the voice of a deaf camel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wish to interface with you. Data Pro. <laughs> with a new light special report. Murphy, quick! They're after the premiere! And so am I. Blast him! Hold your fire! It's Murphy. Help! Please help! Don't be alarmed, sir. I'm saving your life. Glue gun. You may be in danger if you remain here. Himself on that bomb to save us. That's Robocop all over. Systems are coming back online. He's not just some clanking machine. Murphy, 
Are you all right? Good old Robocop. Sorry, Dr. Newmeyer. You appear to have been tailgating. We even saved your old locker. My locker. It's good to have the kid back on the force. Time out. Division Alpha got Robocop reactivated. He's under federal authority now. He's Robocop. C-O-P. Not Robo-Fed. He belongs here. It's not up to you to say where he belongs. It belongs to the new Detroit city government. And this is Gerald Prattle saying, point scored by Lincoln Landau Goodrich, influential deputy mayor of New Detroit. That mechanical menace was stopped once. But now this troublemaker from Washington has overstepped for authority. The machine is not only under New Detroit city jurisdiction, we paid for it. It's our property. Its unauthorized use stops now. Take it away. Huh? Oh. Uh, he's not anybody's property. Don't go with them. Come on now, don't try anything fancy. <laughs> Careful, we must all work together to reduce workplace injuries. Huh? We can take him. Like you did before? No. Robocop was programmed to be used by the elected officials of this city. It's time he was made to remember. Even you can't overcome your programming. Can. Control. Movement. I didn't program that into him. Ah, pathetic toad. You think you're the only one with access? This is even more fun than I thought! On their way to the police storage unit. See that they don't make it. Local idiots. They think they own the world. Yeah? Well, I'm local, little Miss Washington, D.C. Oh, so now you're defending that jerk? Next time you try to help uh, a cop like me, guys, Murphy, make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, I could find them if you want to get them back. There's a homing transmitter on them. They don't know everything. What? What did, what did I do? Let's go! No, wait. I took an oath to follow orders, even if they're given by jerks. But if Murphy needs anything strictly on an off-duty basis, just let me know.
a delicate instrument with me. Maybe uh, you should drop me off somewhere. No time for that now. Hang on! Mom, are we home yet? Yes! We got him cornered. long underwater. So what are we supposed to do? Give up? You have no right to commandeer city crews like this, Agent Miner. That's city property down there. He's not property. He's my partner. I will not authorize a city rescue team to search for RoboCop. Then you find him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we don't need this anymore. No, wait. I, I think we can use this. What for? We already know Robocop's right in front of us, on the bottom of the river. No, he isn't. What are those lights over there? Canada. Powerful as Robocop will have a homing device. Find it and neutralize it. <laughs> this should let us. Access your biotronic interface. Hmm. Activate power. Good thing to stop the boat. Ah, I lost the signal. This is the police. You're under arrest for assaulting Deputy Mayor Goodrich. Sorry, Murphy. You're on your own. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. I felt better, but thanks for asking. You realize you are under arrest for kidnapping and should consider yourself my prisoner. <laughs> We're out of your jurisdiction, officer. You were warned. Fools! You reactivated his arm! Your body's circuits are even more sophisticated than I had thought. But when your defenses are broken, your delicious powers will be reprogrammed <laughs> to serve me. Total Robo activation. <laughs> is it hot in here? Or is it just me? 
He has some kind of built-in circuit breakers. If we use more power, he'll have a meltdown. Were you able to implant Dark's secret directive? Not yet. Oh, try again! Dark will not be kind to us if we fail. Uh, uh, ah, so... the, the agent Miter assaulted me. Ah, so... I was trying to protect the life of a Division Alpha agent. Robocop is a new Detroit Police Department robot! <gasps> Sir, we're positive Robocop is being held somewhere in Canada. The city has already asked the Canadian authorities to investigate. That could take days! Deputy Mayor Goodrich, will you drop the charges against Agent Minor if she's taken off the case? With pleasure. But, sir, we can't abandon Robocop. We have no jurisdiction in Canada. As a government agent, officially, there's nothing you can do. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, no hard feelings, Agent Miner. <laughs> ah! I can't believe you just caved in like that. Alpha Prime was just throwing Goodrich off. When he said there was nothing I could do officially, he meant I should do something unofficially. At least that's what I hope he meant. your reprogramming. If you strain your circuits, you'll be of no use to me or to Dark. I know what it's like to be half human, half machine. When explosives are your life, you end up like this. Like you. <laughs> I've built many weapon systems, but none quite like you. I'm not a weapon system. I'm a man. <laughs> we'll see. It could take days to search all these buildings, and Robocop may not even be here. Are you listening to me, Newmeyer? I think I figured out how Goodrich's remote control worked. I may be able to duplicate the signal over my modem. No. Uh, no. Uh, uh. What's happening? I don't know. We aren't doing it. How do we know it's even working? I hadn't thought of that. Robocop's emergency flares. I should be able to fire one. <laughs> Shoulder flare. It should have worked. I don't get it. Humiliating me will get you nowhere. Shoulder flare. <gasps> it's Murphy! Dark secret directive is implanted, but it needs to be tested! If you can't control him, shut him down! to say that take them alive I want to find out how much they know <coughs> doors are good enough we have to break through walls. Surrender! Don't let them get away! Turning everything on, it'll confuse their sensors.
Um, how about if I go reactivate Robocop? Do it! Thanks. Now for a little morning coffee. Huh? Get away from him! <laughs> How dare you touch my Robocop! Why, Miss Kluge, I didn't know you cared. Let's get out of here! I can't leave my partner. Whoa, they really know how to build those things. Thanks to whoever didn't clean up. Oh, I didn't mean to insult your housekeeping. Cable R. You have heard of the long arm of the law. Shoulder rights. Leg thrusters. Data probe. Say goodbye to your friends. Now say good night. Deactivating. You can back me up anytime, partner. Marta Kluge. The bomb lady? She was trying to reprogram me to work for her in something called Dark. Did it work? Apparently not. Dark stands for the Directorate for Anarchy, Revenge, and Chaos. Huh? If Marta Kluge is making bombs for Dark, this peace conference isn't going to stay very peaceful. The secret directive was implanted in Robocop's programming. He will assassinate the leader of Navmenistan. Was it tested? N no But it should work. Dark was not built on guesses. Terror must be certain. Inescapable. We will initiate the backup plan. The destruction of one world village and everyone in it. The leader of Navmenistan must be destroyed! There is no other mission as important to you. You must not let him survive. Even if it means your own destruction. Dad! I love you! Yesterday, a region at war. Today, a new friend. The Celebrate Humanity Expo welcomes the premier of the planet's newest little country. The people of Navmenistan thank New Detroit for their warm hospitality. It was with this spirit of friendship that I helped create a homeland for my people, a new island of peace amid a sea of warring neighbors. Must be destroyed. What was that? <sighs> Gerald Travel Action News. Oh, I can't stand that guy either. Hey, everyone, breakfast. 
Okay, guys, dig in. Strong. Here, try some. Thanks, Newmeyer, but I never eat paste before noon. Ah, oh, come on. It's a new batch. You really gotta get out more. I'll get my own breakfast. I will accompany you, Agent Miner. Goodridge, Kluge, Dark, and who knows what other murderous scum are after you. Don't you think you should lie low? There's a mini mart just around the corner. Why is this better than Newmeyer's paste? This has tapioca. For my old friend Robocop, no charge. A police officer is not allowed to accept gratuities. Man, you are the real thing. You are under arrest. <laughs> Let him go. We got bigger fish to fry. How will he learn right from wrong if no one teaches him? I'm sure he'll figure it out by himself. I haven't had breakfast yet. <clears throat> Hope you guys work this out. What now? You gonna nail him for fence breaking? No. He might injure himself down there. Men, flesh and bone or steel and circuits can be so stubborn. I do not see the suspect, but I am reading over 200 small rodents and various insect species. Spare me the details. There is something larger in that channel. Alligators? This alligator is making mechanical noise at too low a frequency for you to hear. Take cover! Mm. Hey! Let me go, you tin can cop! Let the boy go. Withdraw or I will destroy this human. Hey man, listen to him. Your cousin here ain't kidding. Neither am I. Were we gonna capture it intact? The safety of the hostage is always an officer's first consideration. Keep the paint, man. I'm retired. You're letting a felon escape? He seems genuinely repentant, Agent Miner. I wouldn't want to be stubborn. <laughs> you are too easy, my little pets. You have interrupted my research. You may continue when your work for Dark is complete. Report! I have lost contact with one of the robot subs sent to plant explosives under One World Village. Did you not send others? Of course. But unfortunately, it was the one carrying the main detonator. I have prepared... Silence! Marta Kluge, your failure forces Dark to end your employment and take back control of this mission. That won't be necessary. We are assigning someone who does not possess your human frailty.
today. The Nafmenistan leader appealed for world peace. In the words of the prophet, can't we all just get along? Words to live by, Vaughn. What is with the Wild West show, cowboy? I don't know. Maybe Newmeyer programmed it in because he likes to watch me do it. And what um, took you guys so long? This did. <laughs> Can you tell us anything about this robot? We think Dark is involved. You sure it was a robot? Nobody move! Not even Twitch! I said freeze, Miner! Give it a rest! You're not gonna shoot a federal agent! Indeed, he isn't, Agent Miner. That'll be all. Now! Mr. Goodrich, the city of New Detroit has no authority to- Ms. Miner, you may have reactivated Robocop, but we built him. He'll be working directly under his old friend, Sergeant Reed. Whatever you say, sir. It will be good to work with you again, Sergeant Reed. I'm seeing red flags, Newmeyer. Really? Where? Let's go. I seem to recall that the head of your shadowy organization ordered you off this case, Agent Miner. <clears throat> That's not the point. Ah, but it is. Enjoy your vacation, Special Agent. I recommend the harbor tour. Ooh, that man is so slimy, he should leave a trail. See if you can ID that robot wreckage. I'll call later. Where, where are you going? To check out the harbor tour. You gonna eat those bagels? Oh, tastes like it's been in a sewer. This isn't, uh, this isn't a robotic component. It looks more like, um, like... A detonator! <laughs> Miner! Miner! Oh, you gotta answer! There's a, a bomb! The mega huge bomb! Miner! Ooh, signal out of range, signal low. <sighs> signal jammed! Today's big event at the Celebrate Humanity Expo is a luncheon hosted by Nafmenistan. Gerald, I guess they do like to eat as much as we do. That's right, Fawn, but back home things aren't so festive. Experts warn that the region teeters on the brink of war. Uh, uh, well, Gerald, let's hope nothing happens to spoil today's lunch. Sensors detect an intruder. Dispose of him. The robots will finish connecting the explosives. Somebody's gotta be here. Somebody is. We need to talk. Oh, great. 
those guys brought their action figure play set. Murphy, uh, are, are you in the middle of anything right now? A dampening field jams transmissions within 90 yards of me. <laughs> Escape. Whatever you do, don't scratch your left ear. It's an insult to his sister. I don't have a left ear. Listen. I don't hear anything. Minor. Yeah, where is she? She's supposed to be part of this. Big time federal agent. Can't even get to lunch on time. Murphy? Man, I hate it when he does that. Another intruder is approaching. Miner, it's me, Cornelius. You know, Newmar, where are you? Oh, why can't you keep a communicator working? <laughs> Happy to see you, too. You know, that robot you zapped was carrying a detonator. <sighs> like that one? That's all I had to say. Gotta go. I will prevail where human weakness has failed. Sequence complete. T minus three minutes. Grenades. You do know how they work. Uh, of course. Then get busy, Newmeyer. My partner needs backup. Missile launcher. You are only part machine. Your human half is weak. I will destroy it. Dream on, bolt head. Actually, 0 0.64 seconds. Now let's hurry. We don't want to be late for the ceremony. Not 
Turkmenistan was once part of Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, and Afghanistan. But now we stand alone. I wish to thank you for the people of my nation and for myself. I have dedicated my life to maintaining the peace in a region where the smallest incident can erupt into great devastation. You must not let him survive. Assassination is against the law. He must be destroyed. The leader of Nafmenistan must be destroyed. There is no other mission as important to you. Dad, can you feel in your heart when something is right or something is wrong? Yes, I can. Murphy? Murphy! And so, please accept my humble thanks. What are you doing? Uh, sorry, sir. I, I must have slipped. How dare you insult my sister? What? Uh, I... I don't know what just happened, but I'm getting you out of here. Although I congratulate your success, I must warn you that the Directorate for Anarchy, Revenge, and Chaos, known as Dark, has only been defeated, not destroyed. They won't forget what you cost them. Maybe I need a partner to watch my back. I agree. What about Harrison? With all due respect, sir, since you have arranged with the new Detroit authorities for Robocop to be with Alpha, I'd like to stay with them. I didn't think you worked with robots, Agent Miner. He's not a robot. He's the best man I've ever worked with. You'll be stationed in New Detroit. When not on assignment for us, you and your partner will still act as local cops. You may find yourself helping get cats down from trees. I know, sir. But with a boy to raise, that doesn't sound half bad. Good luck, Special Agent. Thank you, sir. I told you she would. You are right. Looks like I owe you a dollar. Again. Billy! Time to come in! Dinner's ready! I can feel them. But I can't remember them. Hi! I want you to meet someone. This is Matt! Matt. You are so cool! Does Mom really work with you sometimes? Yes. Welcome to New Detroit, Matt. I think you'll like it here. Do you need a ride back to the precinct, Murphy? I'm staying with Newmeyer. The rent is cheap, but the food is terrible. Attention, all units. Backup required at 6th and Cynthia. Where are you going? There is a crime in progress. Cool! Now wait a minute. A stimulation of aggressive video games. Could this be a tragedy in the making? Hello, I'm Gerald Prattle for Newsbite. Fawn Glibly is live at the Sensory City Game Mall. <laughs> Thanks, Gerald. We've tapped into the Game Mall security cameras so we can watch the hostages and their captor as it happens. Uh, are you people listening? Open all night. Unlimited tokens. Got it. Oh, yeah, he's definitely lost it. Okay, big guy, your move. Get that camera out of here! Oh, what you waiting for? I, uh, I'll shoot! I'll tell you, I, I will! I'll shoot! You are under arrest. Uh, I don't think so! <laughs> Okay, hotshot, 10 cars 
Let's play. <laughs> I would not go there if I were you. Lucky for me, I'm not you, Sparky! Game over, creep. Let's get a few words from New Detroit's amazing mechanical lawman. No, wait! We're missing the hostage reunion. Dad, we were so saddened. I'm okay, honey. I love you so much. I love you too. Spawn Glibly, News Bite. How did it feel to have your worst nightmare played out on TV? Uh, too terrified to talk. Uh, but they'll always have each other. Uh, Gerald? In other news, another attempt to break into our Midwest Region Federal Data Bank. The facility holds DNA samples for every man, woman, and child in the five-state area. Ooh, creepy. Good work, big guy. <clears throat> hey, hold on. You saved a lot of lives out there. What's wrong? That hostage and his family. I could tell they love each other very much. And? I... I used to have that. Hey, big guy. I'm sorry. I... Whoa! I'm being paged. You know, I could do something about that chin. My chin is just fine. <laughs> of course it is, dear. Ah, here he is. You paged me, Agent Miner? Oh, lovely work. <laughs> you must introduce me to whoever puts you together. <laughs> My card. You are Dr. Anais Gaia, a world-renowned geneticist known to the public as the Queen of Cloning. Mm -hmm, how clever! Well, I know a bit about you as well, Officer Murphy. How would you like to feel the wind in your hair again? The sun on your back? A woman's cheek on your fingertips? Are you proposing to clone me, Dr. Gaia? For the sake of science, Officer Murphy. My small gift to the world that has given me so much. Like that phony accent? My genetic research has helped millions. Let me help you. Thank you, Doctor, but this is who I am. It doesn't have to be. Come see me if you change your mind. There's something wrong with that woman. Analysis complete. Sampling glove absorbed sufficient skin cells to compile a complete genetic code. <laughs> Lovely. Do you like working for Alpha Murphy? As long as they let us live here and work with the local cops, it's great. I can't imagine ever leaving New Detroit. What a town. Armed robbery at 9th and Isaiah. Yeah, what a town. <laughs> Man, did you see that jerk when I shot up his place? Sucker wet himself. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Larry. I think that's Robocop back there. Do it! They're coming right at us! Oh. Come on, you bucket-headed freak! I'm gonna put you out of your misery! Murphy, are you okay? 
Murphy? <laughs> oh, look! I made him mad! Uh, Larry, let's get out of here. Hey! Mistaken nature! What are you gonna do about it? Activating missile launcher. Drive! Everybody. Ah! <gasps> Jenny! Ah! Hang on, Jenny. I'm almost there. That's the good girl. Now just give me your hand. Ah! A monster! Ah! No! <laughs> oh, don't worry, baby. You'll be home soon. She let go. She saw me, and she let go. Don't worry, Murphy. She's going to be all right. Murphy! You saved a lot of lives out there. What's wrong? Come on, you bucket-headed freak! I'm going to put you out of your misery! Hey, mistaken nature! What are you going to do about it? Let me help you. <gasps> Come in. I've been thinking about your offer. Perhaps this will help you decide. It's me. Of course it is. Now choose. The sample of your DNA that I took from your cheek was more than enough for my DNA replicator to create a clone. So I see. I sped up the clone's aging process and voila! One mature adult. <laughs> Easy. When you know what you're doing. The encephalo conductor transferred your memories, feelings, your person into their new home. I can feel and taste real food. Do you have any pizza? Uh, whoa, I better take it easy for a while. Doctor, how can I ever thank you? Oh, your happiness is thanks enough. Yours and the world's. I'd better call city services to come get my, my... I called, they're on their way. Great, it looks like you thought of everything. More than you know. What do you mean Murphy ran away? He blames himself for those kids on the bus. They're gonna be okay, but it could have been bad. And I can't track him. I'm afraid he might have done something to himself. I did. <laughs> Murphy? That's the name inside my underwear. You're alive. I mean, you're you, but... I mean, where, where's the rest of you? Nice to see you too, Newmeyer. May I help you, Agent Miner? Sorry, I, it's just I've never seen you, you, uh, you know, this way. <laughs> uh, so, what happens now? <laughs> Guess Division Alpha won't be too interested in me like this. So that's it? You and I just stop? This is too weird. Where's Robocop? Dr. Guy is sending the body back to the city. 
the body. I always thought of him as, as well, you. But you're here. Go ahead, dispatch. We've got a 211 in progress downtown at the Federal Data Bank. Again. Let's hit it. Right. I'll go get into uniform. You? you? Last time I checked, Alex Murphy was a cop. <sighs> Just like the old days. <gasps> My face. I... Hey, partner. You coming? Yeah, be right there. Why would someone try to break into that place four times? It's crazy. Someone's coming out. No! Blasters at full power! Fire! But it's going to stop right now. Oh, oh my chest can't breathe. Ugh. Oh, what happened? It feels like an elephant sat in my chest. Him? I think an elephant's a of an exaggeration. A small rhino, perhaps, or a really big moose, or a thing. Newmeyer, just tell him. Your arteries are hardening. They couldn't be. I, I'm too young. You know that quick growing clone body of yours? It's quick aging. So stop it. I. I. I don't know how. The Gaia's work is light years ahead of the curve. Murphy, if we can't put your mind back inside Robocop's body, and soon, you aren't going to make it. Okay, let's KO the building's security systems and get in there. Leave that to me. Murphy, what are you doing? Sorry, I, I forgot I don't have a data probe anymore. That's okay, I'll get it. You okay? Just need to catch my breath. We're running out of time! Newmeyer! Find that encephalo conductor. Murphy said it was in the lab. <gasps> oh no! It's not there! So find it. We're gonna track down Gaia and get his body back. <laughs> Duh. Sneaking into places should not be my job. <clears throat> Tail cat, a cow with the face of a dog, six-legged chicken. <laughs> People say I'm weird. Okay, hands where I can see him. How dare! Oh, Agent Minor, Officer Murphy. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you'd be dead by now. Why did you do this to me? For the future. When I get the DNA samples of 50 million people from that data bank, just think what beings I and my DNA replicator shall make. <laughs> but I needed help. 
Only Robocop could steal the DNA for me. I just had to get your law-abiding mind out of the way first. So you suckered me into this clone, even though you knew I would die. Die so that new life will be born! <laughs> the circle of life. You're sick. Sick? The world is sick. I shall heal it. <laughs> Look around you. One day the world shall be free of its old, defective population, filled instead with my creatures. With you playing Mother Nature. Yes. And you know it's not nice to fool with Mother Nature. Destroy them both! <gasps> no, you can't! Yeah! Run. I can barely walk. Murphy said the machine was three feet square, five feet tall, blue. Yeah! I hope this thing has wheels. I didn't know that they had a self defense course at Math Scientist School. <laughs> Get the old man! Shoot her! Over my dead body! Putrid puppet! You've ruined it! <laughs> wait, wait! You're not just a puppet. You're not just a machine. You're human, too. You're me. Remember? He's not you. He used to be. <sighs> Matt, be careful! That thing looks dangerous. Ma, I'll be fine. What are you thinking about? I should have seen Dr. Gaia's offer for what it was. I should have realized that Murphy is gone. Like it or not, from now on, I am... Help! <gasps> Mom, I'm gonna... F Matt, Help! Look out! Telescoping hand. Uh, Matt, you could have been hurt. Oh, Mom. Not as long as Robocop's here. Well, I guess Robocop can be pretty handy to have around. I have my moments. Come on, I'll buy you and your mom some pizza. seconds and we'll give you the world <laughs> Gerald we're standing outside the gates of Platinum Pines estates completely automated completely expensive completely exclusive indeed Fawn many of New Detroit's most important citizens live here well, I know. After all, I live here. You do? How can you afford... Ah, well, Fawn, good for you. 
today, the third richest man in the world, the Sultan of Tuckapan, is coming. Our sources indicate that he wants to buy a home here in Platinum Pines. Who knows? I may be getting a new neighbor. <gasps> Naturally, I will escape to my useless nosewipe of an agent now. Uh, back to you in the studio. Official business. Welcome to Platinum Pines Estates. This is so unfair. Some sultan wants to buy one of these mansions and we have to babysit him while he does it? We are bodyguards, Miner. That's what Division Alpha's calling us. All this excess, it just makes me angry. Am I detecting anger? Or is it jealousy? Oh, all right. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hmm. Oh, you must be the extra security personnel. Hey! What just happened? It would appear that the water sprinklers are malfunctioning. Towel in a loop. Hmm, it's been doing that all day. And with the Sultan arriving any moment now, too. Central computer. Watering error at Braggadocio Manor. Code Amber. <laughs> and merci beaucoup. You are Lily Roberts, the Platinum Pines representative. But of course. Now, I hope you can complete your little safety inspection quickly. Windows are shatterproof and wired into our own central computer security system. Our gourmet kitchen is fully automated. Oh, and here's the ice maker. Whoa! Grinder. Find that little droid, and I'm gonna rip it a new input. Oh, perfect! Ah! Central computer, Sencom, shut down Braggadocio Manor immediately. Code Rouge. The Sultan is arriving soon. How quickly can the ice machine be repaired? We can't have the Sultan see any of our blemishes. I've already told Central Computer to seal off this estate. Each of the estates has its own separate circuit. We'll simply show the Sultan a different manner. Okay. <gasps> oh. I'm out of here. We all are. Now, let me see. Ah, yes, Swagger Manor. Let's show that one to the Sultan. It's cunning and... Oh. Oh, I suppose you'll want to inspect that one, too. Well, here's the address. But I have to insist that you exit through the south gate, then re-enter through the back gate. After all, it is the service entrance. Can't have you driving through our streets as if you actually lived here. Did you just say what I think you said? Cause if you did... Excitement has been mounting all afternoon for the arrival of the Sultan and his entourage. Believe me, Gerald, all of us who live here at Platinum Pines have been buzzing. I'll just bet, Fawn. <laughs> Goodness. While the Sultan takes a tour of New Detroit in his personal helicopter, his staff is arriving in 14 limousines. Whoopee. I cannot believe that we have to use the back gate. 
After all, it is the service entrance. That still creeps me out when you do that. This really isn't part of my job description. You should get that Marcus Molesworth guy. He, he, he designed the whole central computer. I would, if I could find him. <clears throat> Typical of the working class just to disappear like this. Well, are you fixing anything yet? Ah! <gasps> oh, dear. Official business. We are sorry. We are unable to admit you to Platinum Pines Estates at this time. Right? Ugh. Talk about a warm welcome. Uh, ahoy! You there, in the foam. I require your assistance at the central computer tunnel. You are under arrest for maintaining a lethal security device. We never ordered that dreadful thing. Voice analysis. Honestly, I have no idea how it got there. My voice analysis indicates she is telling the truth. Or at least she believes she is. Well, of course I am. Now, please follow me to the central computer service tunnel. Uh, one of our technicians has... well, he's gone. What about the Sultan? His chopper hasn't even landed yet. Now we must hurry. Whoa! This tunnel leads to the central computer equipment. What? Now see here! I mean, help! I would advise you to duck. Sergeant Reed is right. Golf is fun. We've seen enough. We need to shut down Platinum Pines and get everyone out of here. Are you mad? Shut down Platinum Pines? The Sultan won't be safe with these malfunctions. Then we'll simply shut down the central computer. We have a smaller secondary computer to run basic yes. services. Why disrupt the Sultan's visit? Yes. Are you all right, citizen? I, I think so. I was trying to get to the central computer, but something grabbed me. How are we going to shut down the computer if we can't even get to it? It must require some power source. Jackhammer. The central computer is officially shut down. What? My power? Those peasants have cut off my power? Well, we'll just see about that.
<laughs> I've completed my sweep. All the services seem to be operating safely. Well, each estate does have its own circuit system, and the secondary system runs the basic services. I'm glad one of us is having fun. Sultan! Oh, your royal sultaness! Time for your press conference. Mustn't be late. Oh, yes, it takes more than a brutish loss of power to stop Marcus Molesworth. <laughs> now that my guest of honor has arrived, ha, it's time for the festivities to begin. <laughs> My little chateau from here. Big screaming deal, Fawn. Why are the mailbots running? They should have been shut down with the central computer. They were. The secondary system isn't programmed to run them. There is some kind of problem? No, we don't have problems at Platinum Pines. We have uh, solutions. Sir, it would be advisable for you to re-enter the house. Robocop! Robocop, are you okay? I am unharmed. Move the Sultan to safety. I will be fine. Who are you? Where are you? I detect no physical presence. Identify yourself. Now. Oh, how can you not know who I am? I am Marcus the First. I am the Emperor of Platinum Pines. <laughs> Cease your assault, or there will be trouble. <laughs> oh, but there already is trouble! <laughs> Hurry! Stay ahead of me! has graciously agreed to speak with us <laughs> for a few moments. Come on, move it! Move, move! There's more news here at Platinum Pines. This extremely exclusive and extremely expensive enclave. No, there's not, Gerald. Oh, but when a multi-million dollar computer system goes haywire, that's news right here in Platinum Pines. Ah, hey, ow, that hurts. Memo to Newmeyer. Work on the brakes. Murphy, you're okay. Who is responsible for the creation of your computer systems? Was his name Marcus? Oh, that scruffy little Marcus Molesworth. After he designed our system, he had the nerve to want to live here. 
But he couldn't afford to? Oh, no. We paid him well enough. He just wasn't our sort. He appears to be in control of the central computer system. And now you are not his sort. Oh, why, of all the nerve. Marcus Molesworth, you are under arrest for assault and public mayhem. I suggest you come quietly. <laughs> Marcus the First never does anything quietly. Ha! What's he doing? Playing into our hands. <gasps> I hope. But I thought I was to be the only royalty here. This will not do. Look upon my work, ye mighty, and be awed! <laughs> For your own safety. This is fun. Oh, and for your own safety, too. to tell you, Miss Roberts, my interest in this place is diminishing rapidly. is over. What a day here at Platinum Pines. Oh, be quiet, Gerald. Could you just be quiet? Sorry about the complete destruction of your little chateau. Does your homeowners cover out of control Roman robots? <laughs> After a day with these million dollar houses, there's only one place I'd rather be. Let me guess. Home. my moves. You want a bet? Uh, oh, no fair, Spencer. Yeah, I got the speed. And I got the style. And Matt's got to go. Oh, Mom. Attention, huh? all guests. Get a sneak preview of the new Viper 6000 Aggressor Robots on the medieval Landcastle drawbridge in 15 minutes. I gotta see that. Matt? It'll just take five minutes. Hey, wait! My brother's still in the maze. I'll find Ryan. I'll meet you guys at the castle.
Berthold Viper presents the ultimate combat opponent. The Viper 6000 Aggressor Robot. Viper 6000s will be online this Saturday throughout the park. Join us for a full demonstration of its incredible capabilities. Place your game time reservations now. Awesome! Spencer and Ryan have got to see this. Come on out, Ryan. We're missing the Viper 6000. <gasps> Ryan! Hey, let me go! I didn't do anything! Um, I don't see them, honey. Ah, uh, they're just playing in the maze. Spencer's mom works late. She doesn't care when he comes home. Now, Matt, I'm sure that isn't true. Let me go! I want to go home! Children today have no homes. Perhaps that's why you spend so much time in mine. Please! I'm going to give you what you want most in the world. The chance to stay at Viperland! Matt, honey, I spoke to Spencer's mother again. Do he and Ryan have a history of running away? They wouldn't go for two days. My brother would never stay away like that. You gotta help us, Mom. Matt, I've called everyone I know to call. I'm in the middle of an important investigation. It's okay, Ms. Liner. I know about Mom's being busy. Wait. Don't worry. I'll, I'll keep looking. Any luck? Not a bit. When the police checked at Viperland, they received excellent cooperation. Yeah, but five kids have gone missing in a week, and all of them played there regularly. We will investigate Viperland for two reasons. There's the kids. Okay, uh, I've adjusted the speed. Give it a try. Spurs. What's the second reason? The rides. I want to try the shooting gallery before we leave. I think your targeting computer qualifies as cheating. I won't keep the prizes. I thought this was where Viper's assistant said to meet. I'm Ms. Seam, Vertol Viper's personal assistant. Mr. Viper is expecting you. Mr. Viper doesn't normally permit interviews, but he wished to meet Mr. Robocop. Just Robocop is acceptable. However, I find Robo a bit familiar. Hmm. Interesting approach to organic cybernetic interface. Agent Miner and the remarkable Robocop. I'm Vertold Viper. Welcome to my world. Interesting alloy. Pity I can't take you apart. Explore the connective tissues that made man with machine. My creator, Dr. Newmeyer, would be pleased. He considers you the world's second greatest expert on cybernetic design. Second? I hate to interrupt this mutual admiration society, but this is an official visit. I'm investigating several missing juveniles. They were last I seen... have no time for the petty concerns of others, Agent Miner. Viperland is my life. My every waking hour is dedicated to making it the world's most spectacular interactive environment. A gaming experience found nowhere else on the planet. The Viper 6000 Aggressor Robot. It will take simulated combat gaming to a new level.
tomorrow. Its astounding capabilities will be revealed to a public ravenous for a new sensation! Please, move to the elevator. What? Your audience has ended. What about the missing kids? When Mr. Viper goes into genius mode, he's on another plane far removed from our mundane existence. I'm afraid he's not hearing you. How about a yell? Real loud! Our officer must maintain self-control at all times. We should go. Why did you drag me away? I was about to hand him his head. Which would not have helped find the lost children. You're right. And you are right that Mr. Viper has something to hide. Our next visit should be less official. Time for your massage. Robocop was scamming you, wasn't he? How dare he? You are perfect. So powerful, yet so young, so agile. Soon, the Viper 6000 will play the ultimate game, the destruction of Robocop! This is Fawn Glibly, coming to you live from Viperland, where reclusive genius Vertold Viper will appear in person for the first time in 20 years. Boy, you'd think he'd at least go out for a movie. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder of Viperland, the techiest place on Earth, Vertold Viper. In Viperland's honored tradition of instant gratification, I present the Viper 6000! You think you could beat him? I will find out. Where are you going? To future Warland before the line gets too long. Matt, wait for me! <laughs> Spencer? It was like the robot was Spencer. Slow down, Matt. What robot? The 6,000 did Spencer's move. See, only Spencer could do that. Matt, think about what you're saying. Did the robot talk like Spencer? Oh, don't you believe me? Sure I do. But there's probably another explanation. The 6,000's moves may have been programmed from security camera videos of champion game players. If Spencer and the other missing kids are on Viperland's main database, it might show who grabbed them. Pick a video game here and do not move from this spot. If there is a hint of trouble, press 9. It'll call us, got it? Yeah, Mom.
Bring it to me! Already on it, sir. Mr. Viper has plans for you, young man. You better let me go! My mom's a cop! Ah, you're Agent Miner's little brat. Well, now, that does make a difference. Welcome to the game! I've had enough of the techiest place on Earth for a while. Let's get mad and get out Your of here. mother is a very determined woman. But she's not the real problem, is she? Children like you used to taunt me when I was young. They said I was weird. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Viperland is my world! How would you like to destroy Robocop? Destroy Robocop. <laughs> Destroy Robocop. Where is he? Matt promised he would stay at that game. Turn the safeties off. Full power to all weapon systems. Answer me! These blasts are lethal. We must get the people out of here. They're already running as fast as they know how. I'm going to find Matt. Take out Viper's power first. Next building over. Got it! I see your associate cut off the main power. But you're wondering, if there's no power, how can I be hearing Viper's amplified voice? You have an emergency backup system. May I suggest a strategic retreat? You may suggest, but my partner claims I'm a bad listener. So... I guess so. What happened? You must leave Viperland at once. I will free your friends. Agent Fighter, Matt was right. The missing juveniles are inside the robots. Have you found Matt? No. A pair of robots have me pinned down. Because there are kids inside, I can't use maximum force. But keep looking. I've called for backup. I'm gonna stop this at the source. Sorry, kids. You'll be okay. First round to my worthy opponent. Kidnapping is not a game, Mr. Viper. Everything is a game. Shall we have the stakes? Bro, 
Robocop. I present the Viper 6000 Ultra. I know you're going to like him. In fact, you already do! Must destroy Robocop. <gasps> Matt, try to concentrate. Wake up, you can do it. This won't last much longer. What have you done to my son? End this now, Viper. Ms. Seam, would you? Consider her dead. You're not very good at this, are you? Destroy Robocop. I wish you'd stop saying that. Nobody messes with my son. Another robot. Must destroy Robocop. Release those kids right now, and I might let you just go to jail. Ah, don't touch me! You don't know what you're doing! Don't I? You couldn't get your Viper 6000s to work, could you, big shot genius? You used kids as their brains. The best kids always defeated the robots. I couldn't beat them, so I used them. It was for the good of Viperland. You know, I think I'll just send you to another plane. All right, just don't touch me, please. Violence offends me. The children are free. He's still moving! It doesn't control the Ultra! Now, destroy Robocop. You'd regret it in the morning. Blue gun. Buzz on. Gotcha, kid. No! I... I hurt Robocop. Not much. But we can play again if you'd like. It sounds crazy, but I'm gonna miss this place. What do you call that noise thing he used to make me fight you? Sonic Mind Control. Pioneered by the Russians under Rublev. I can't believe a man could be so obsessed with his creation that he would abuse children. Ms. Miner, I wanted to thank all of you for getting my brother and Spencer back. Mm, thank you, honey. Matt, your mom's the best. Yeah. We gotta find a new place to hang. Don't worry, we will. Just nowhere near, Mr. Viper. Viper will be in jail for a very long time. Learning his lesson. What lesson? No one messes with my mom. Miner, Newbuyer, can anybody hear me?
Pager. Just five more minutes, Mom, please. We've been paged by Division Alpha. Uh, in the middle of the night, oh, man. Yes, fortunately. There's a jet waiting for you. You'll receive further instructions once you're in the air. Not even a quick hello first, Alpha Prime? Hello, Agent Miner. Well, you won't be needing me. You can just drop me off anywhere. I'll call a cab or something. Oh, no, Dr. Newmeyer. You're part of this mission. Yeah, but I... Robocop may require assistance in the Sub-Zero weather. Sub-Zero? Where exactly are we going? You're going to Antarctica. We've lost communication with an international scientific colony there. It's cold. Maybe their tongues are stuck to a flagpole. Hey, it happens. It was barely nine, okay? They've been searching for meteor rocks trapped there in the ice. They found something, haven't they? Last reports indicate that they unleashed a sort of space virus. You have to quarantine the base camp and isolate the virus. Understood. The virus cannot be allowed to escape to the rest of the planet. Try this. You put your right leg in, you put your right leg out, then you shake it all about. <clears throat> Great. Now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day. Hey, the camp, we're about to land. Not exactly. the perimeter. The snowmobiles are disabled. No one's going anywhere until we say so. Oh, joy. Good. We think the cold may be containing the virus, but if it escaped to warmer climates... What can you tell us about the space virus? Not much. It seems to cause deep terror. The virus makes people afraid? Of what? Everything. The hallucinations are their own worst fears coming true. Your computer has an unusual delete key. Our cook has always been scared of computers. Remind me not to annoy your cook. I'd better go check on him in sick bay. Where are you keeping the meteor fragment that caused all this? We've sealed the source of this plague in a special box in a containment hut. I will contact Division Alpha for quarantine pickup. They'll dispose of the space rocks, but what about the stuff already in the air? Well, if no more escapes from the space rocks, then what's here could dissipate until it's basically harmless. In theory. If this virus makes it out of here, the whole world would just collapse in fear. What? D don't push me! Don't! Dr. Negroni, calm down! Do not be afraid. Away from me! The dogs! They're gonna get me! Help! I will attempt to stop her. That's a containment hut! Someone's 
broken in. Let me be hallucinating. Please let me be hallucinating. I'll go check it out. Be afraid. PhD does not count. I can't even cut my own toenails without getting nauseous. I can't swim. I don't know how to swim. Help me. Problem. Someone's stolen the virus. Doesn't make sense. Why would a member of the science team steal the space rocks? It's not like they can go anywhere. It is a long, long way home. There are significant thermal fingerprints. Perhaps Division Alpha will have a match. Alpha communications. Murphy? I'm hallucinating! No, I see it too. And it's very, very real. And very much the work of Dr. Anias Gaia. That twisted gene doctor here? Somehow that elderly woman's thermal prints are a perfect match for Gaia. But every member of this colony has a level 5 security clearance. But then we are talking about Anias Gaia. Printer. But this woman must be 70 years old, and Gaia can't be more than, say, 39, 40, maybe 41. Hey, don't be catty. That's my job. You didn't recognize me, did you? <laughs> I can manipulate my cells at a genetic level. What is my little <gasps> beauty secret? Return the Space Stones, Gaia, or there will be trouble. <laughs> something I couldn't hear you over all that exploding your chance What are you doing? I'm helping my partner in Oh, Murphy. This repair is only temporary. But we've got to get Gaia. I have scanned the area. She has no means of transportation. As you said, where is she going to go? Bird things. Why did Gaia bother to create them? Dispersion of virus. 
First, the birds are exposed, then they travel to a warmer climate where it multiplies. In a matter of days, the whole world's exposed. Great, like Typhoid Mary, only these things can fly. Then the whole world collapses from fear. And Gaia has her chance to create a perfect world from the ground up. How long before Division Alpha said the backup team would be here? 14 hours. That's too late. Oh, wait, I can't go in there. I was exposed to the virus. I tested your suit's air during the repair. You were not contaminated. But the seal is only temporary. That's a relief. Thank you. This is a sterile room. Go away! My partner requires attention. We won't let you in. Yes, you will. down Anias Gaia. Dr. Gaia? Here? Where's Miner? Is she okay? Her suit was torn, but she's in a safe place now. Wait! What happened to your suit? You've been exposed! I'm fine, but we have to stop Gaia. Did you just, just say we? Yes. Maybe I, I could just um, stay here and, uh, you know, make some oatmeal for when you get back. It'd... My visual scanner is malfunctioning. <laughs> Let me take a look. Robocop, are you okay? Closer, or I will fire. R Robo Robocop, you're hallucinating. Oh, what are the systems? Robocop, no! <laughs> Please be okay. Please be okay. You've got the virus. You were hallucinating. Correction, I am hallucinating. Let's get you to sick bay. No. We have to stop Gaia. But you can't function like this. I am stronger than this. I have to focus on my mechanical side. But, but how are you going to track down Gaia? That's where you come in. You have to override my systems. You have to take control. Oh, this feels like a bad idea. It's not safe oh, at all. Oh, we don't have any time. Please, you're all Quiet. wrong. I don't know anything about making antidotes, but you do. Here's the deal. You get busy, or I'll introduce you to a whole new meaning of your worst fear. Robo Slam. I installed seatbelts, right? Okay, then. I'll do what I can. Let's go get Gaia. What? Sorry. What? My fault! Yeah, hey! It's kind of fun! Hey! Hey, I think I see something! Where? To the right! By, by the icebox! It's gotta be Gaia! Here she is. Wait for her! Turn the rocks and you will not be harmed. Never! This space virus is my key to a new world order. My world order, Tin Man. Within days, every genetically juvenile human will be destroyed by its own worst fears. Then I'll create my own perfect world the way it was meant to be. <laughs> No, get away from me! My flock will share this virus with the world! Say hello to 
to the beginning of the end. Must trust. I'm mechanical. How? Open your shoulder panel. What? Do it! Explosive rocket. You will not stop me! Let's see what other tricks I put up your sleeve. What's that? My hallucinations are getting worse. Actually, that's real. Well, that's a relief. Wait, that's not good. My ride's here. <laughs> yep. No! Nobody hurts my friend. You call that pile of wires a friend? <laughs> no more fun and games. Help! Robocop! Where are you? Newmeyer! Looks like the antidote you came up with is working. Don't thank me. The scientists just needed a little motivation. So your worst fears were about losing your human self? I thought so. Until I thought I was losing my friends. I wonder. Space debris hits the Earth every day. That fear virus could be floating everywhere. In small amounts, I guess it doesn't affect people. Yeah. I'm just glad to be home where it's safe.